of the Highland Pony then, the, our judges, we're very delighted to welcome our judges for the Highland Ponies. The male section, that's Pat Sterling from the Scottish Borders. And for the female section, Mr. Bruce Halliburton from Perthshire. And our judges, as these Highland Ponies come into the ring, they'll be looking at the walk. The walk most important for these Highland Ponies, for any equine really, but for the Highland Ponies, they have to be very sure-footed. They were bred in the Highlands, obviously, that's where they originated, and they had to be very sure-footed to be able to cope with the various terrains. And even now, these Highland Ponies are used still on the shooting estates to go up right up into the Highlands and bring back the deer on their special specialized deer saddles or in panniers they bring the grouse back they take the the shooters up there into the hills and or they also take their lunches up and there will be later on a harness class and we'll see some of these working ponies so it's most important that the highland pony has good feet you know the old adage no foot no horse so they've got to have good feet they've got to have a very powerful a very rhythmical and a very good walk to cope. And we have some lovely mares forward too, don't we, with their foals at foot. It's always fabulous watching the foals because the handlers often have a bit, of a bit of a struggle with some of these foals. But the Highland ponies as well, known for their very good temperaments. Very placid temperaments, very trainable. I'm quite sure one or two owners of the Highland Ponies might disagree with me there. But on the whole, they have very, very good temperaments. So we have four forward, four lovely mares forward with their gorgeous fells at foot. So the judge will bring them. He's watched them walk round. Lakata, the second. Lakata, number 203. The stallions in the adjacent ring, they're just trotting. So the judges watch them walk round. Pat Sterling, she's watched them walk round. And now individually, each of them are trotting out in hand. So she's again looking for a really good, strong action here in the trot. It doesn't have to be flashy. They can't do flashy trots if they're up in the hilly terrain, but it needs to be reasonably ground covering. It needs to be very strong and it needs to be sturdy. And these Highland ponies trotting up really well in front of Pat Sterling. Of course, here at the Royal Highland Showcase, the, oops, one of them just had a little bit of a, a little bit of a fling there. He's a stallion after all. He's allowed to uh, show a little bit of feistiness. And these stallions, they have a very much a look at me, don't they? It's what makes them special, the stallions. They, it's all about, look at me. I'm a bit feisty, but my goodness, I'm a fabulous stallion. So the, the Highland stallions then doing a great job over there. The judge has now seen them trot up individually, and she's going to pull them in into some sort of an order. And then each of the ponies will come out individually, stand up in front of the judge, and they will do an individual show. They will walk up and trot back. So the judge, our Pat, will be looking at the action. She'll be looking to make sure the ponies sound. And she will also be looking at confirmation, the confirmation of the Highland Pony, very important. And you'll be able to see these ponies walking around while she makes up her mind in which order she would like them. So hotly contested these passes, as you would expect. You will see Highland ponies here and Shetland ponies, the best in the world here at this Royal Highland Showcase. The best in the world come to the Royal Highland. They all want to win a rosette and the native ponies, the Scottish native ponies are extremely well attended. And as I say, the best in the world will be on show here today.
Pat Stelly now looking at each of our Highland Tonys, the Stallions individually. That was number 1871 on your screen just then. Brayford Sandpiper. He's by Strathall and Druid, out of Formic Hannah and read by Amanda King and exhibited by Adam Wigan. So I judge Pat having a very good look at confirmation. She views the horse from all si both sides and the front to look at the four limbs and the back to look at the hocks to see if everything's in line as it should be. Make sure there's no lumps and bumps and to make sure that these Highland ponies are close to the breed, are the, the perfect, she's looking for the perfect example of the breed standard. One eight seven two, just walking away now and trotting back. One eight seven two is Tretlau Tierlach, exhibited by Julian Murray, by Mossside McLaren, out of Tretlau Tilwilly. And bred by the exhibitor, Julian McMurray. But I think the stallions are in now. I think Pat has got her stallions in the order that she wants. 